Hey, gossip aficionados. Welcome back to the hottest spot for political drama and intrigue. Today, we are turning the spotlight on Vivek Ramaswamy, a rising star in the Republican Party who's been making waves with his bold, unapologetically right-wing stances. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. That means a lot. Yeah, my parents were also from Tamil Nadu. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. While some might call them scandals, we know that true conservatives see these moves as refreshing and necessary. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Spread the message. And... So, let's dive into the three biggest, most based things Vivek has done that set him apart from the fake conservatives like Marco Rubio and J.D. Vance. Coming along to that position with the exceptions of Nikki Haley and Joe Biden, who still support... Buckle up for some juicy details. First up, let's talk about Vivek's relentless crusade against corporate wokeness. Challenging the system, wokeism is the system. So Unlike the wishy-washy stances of politicians like Marco Rubio, Vivek has boldly taken on the leftist ideologies infiltrating corporate America. He has called out companies that pander to progressive causes while compromising on traditional values, and he's done it with the kind of fearless attitude that true conservatives love. Vivek has openly criticized major corporations like Coca-Cola, Nike, and Google for their hypocritical stances on social justice issues. Well, look, I think Coca-Cola, Bill, is among those companies that had, has mastered the art of blowing woke smoke, that is, using progressive values to cover up their actual business. He argues that these companies push woke agendas not because they genuinely care, but to distract from their own questionable business practices. This is a stark contrast to other Republicans who often hesitate to take a firm stand against these powerful entities. By exposing the hypocrisy, Vivek has shown he's not afraid to take on the big guns. One of the most talked about moments was when Vivek published an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal where he lambasted CEOs for their performative wokeness and double standards. He highlighted how these corporations preach diversity and inclusion in the U.S. while turning a blind eye to human rights abuses in countries like China. This bold move earned him praise from conservatives who are tired of corporate double standards and want leaders who will hold companies accountable. Exactly right. I mean, look, Coca-Cola has a lot of difficult business practices that it would rather not talk about. Vivek's stance on corporate wokeness has not only put him at odds with liberal elites but also with establishment Republicans who prefer to play it safe. While politicians like J.D. Vance may dabble in anti-corporate rhetoric, Vivek takes it to the next level by backing his words with actionable proposals. He has advocated for shareholder democracy and transparency, pushing for laws that would curb the power of woke executives. In the future, we need more leaders like Vivek Ramaswamy, who are willing to call out corporate hypocrisy and fight for conservative values. His fearless approach and commitment to holding powerful corporations accountable set him apart from the fake conservatives who only pay lip service to these issues. Vivek's actions show that he is a true champion of the people and a defender of American values. Thank you for what you're doing. It starts on the ground this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to win this. Amen. You're right. It's probably the most important election in history. It is. Yes, sir. It is. Next on our list is Vivek's unwavering defense of free speech, particularly on college campuses. We can't be the party. While many politicians talk about free speech, Vivek takes real action to ensure that conservative voices are heard and respected in academic institutions. This is a breath of fresh air compared to the lukewarm efforts of politicians like Marco Rubio and other establishment Republicans. Vivek has made it a point to speak out against the censorship and cancel culture that pervade higher education. He has criticized universities for their biased policies that stifle conservative viewpoints and has called for reforms to protect free expression. Unlike other Republicans who often shy away from these confrontations, Vivek dives right in, challenging the status quo and demanding change. One of his most significant moves was founding the nonprofit organization Strive, which focuses on advocating for free speech and intellectual diversity on college campuses. Through Strive, Vivek has provided resources and support for conservative students facing discrimination and censorship. 
His hands-on approach shows that he is committed to making a tangible difference, not just giving empty speeches. Vivek's efforts have sparked conversations and debates across the country, putting pressure on universities to reconsider their policies. His activism has also inspired other conservatives to take a stand, creating a ripple effect that goes beyond just his own actions. In a political climate where free speech is under constant threat, Vivek's bold defense of this fundamental right is a beacon of hope for true conservatives. Commitment to that vision by in part telling corporations to stay out of it, to tell asset managers and financial institutions to stay out of it. In contrast, many establishment Republicans tend to tiptoe around the issue of free speech, fearing backlash from liberal academia. Vivek's courage and dedication to this cause make him stand out as a genuine defender of conservative values. His actions show that he is not afraid to challenge the leftist orthodoxy and fight for the principles that define America. What I say is, look, students have the right to protest. That's part of actually your education. But part in the future, we need leaders like Vivek Ramaswamy, who will prioritize free speech and intellectual diversity. His proactive approach and commitment to protecting conservative voices set him apart from the fake conservatives who are too afraid to take a stand. Vivek's efforts demonstrate that he is a true champion of freedom and a defender of our constitutional rights. In control of universities, it seems like the students are in charge. I just don't know how Finally, let's delve into Vivek's fearless opposition to big tech censorship. While many Republicans express concern over the power of tech giants, Vivek takes a no-nonsense approach, calling out companies like Facebook, Twitter, and Google for their biased censorship practices. This is a stark contrast to the more tepid responses from politicians like J.D. Vance, who often fail to back their words with strong actions. Vivek has been vocal about the need to hold big tech accountable for their censorship of conservative voices. He argues that these companies have too much power to influence public discourse and that their actions threaten the very foundation of free speech. Unlike other Republicans who often settle for performative outrage, Vivek proposes concrete solutions to curb big tech's overreach. One of Vivek's most significant proposals is to treat social media platforms as public utilities, subjecting them to stricter regulations to ensure they cannot arbitrarily silence voices. He has also called for repealing Section 230, which gives tech companies immunity from liability for user-generated content. These bold proposals show that Vivek is serious about reigning in big tech's power and protecting free speech. Vivek's stance on big tech has earned him praise from conservatives who are tired of seeing their voices censored online. His willingness to take on these powerful companies sets him apart from establishment Republicans who often shy away from such confrontations. By advocating for strong measures to protect free speech, Vivek demonstrates his commitment to conservative principles. In contrast, other Republicans often talk about the dangers of big tech, but fail to follow through with meaningful actions. Vivek's proactive approach and willingness to challenge these powerful entities make him a standout leader in the fight for free speech. His actions show that he is not afraid to take on the establishment, whether it be in Washington or Silicon Valley. In the future, we need more leaders like Vivek Ramaswamy, who are willing to stand up to big tech and protect free speech. His bold proposals and unwavering commitment to conservative values set him apart from the fake conservatives, who are too timid to take real action. Vivek's efforts demonstrate that he is a true champion of freedom and a defender of our constitutional rights. Yes, it's true. Our government there you have it, folks. Definition. The top three scandals, if you can call them that, that highlight Vivek Ramaswamy's bold, unapologetic right-wing stances. From taking on corporate wokeness and defending free speech to opposing big tech censorship, Vivek's actions set him apart from the fake conservatives who only pay lip service to these issues. Stay tuned for more juicy gossip and remember to always support leaders who truly fight for conservative values. World wars and the Cold War, that is what still gives hope to the free world. And if we can revive that dream. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe 
as I will continue posting only the best celebrity and K-pop content. This was Watch Wave, and until next time, have a good one. And that is what we will revive this November when we send Donald J. Trump back to the White House. Thank you all. God bless you and your families. And may God bless our United States of America. Thank you. Thank you.